good. Oh yeah, man. It's like I'm back in Wellington. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. We're at Cuba Street. Cuba Street, London. So show when you see me. When you see this face. New dance move. Man. It's the HQ. Yeah, it's to be a little bit bigger. What is it that appeals about Fat Freddy's? It's kind of it's the live element and the the originality of, of the sound, um, especially when you put it in a European or UK context. You know, although there's the dub element and stuff, it's it fits so many genres and it's getting picked up by lots of people who are into different music, not just the dub heads and stuff. And from a business side, it's, it's much easier to promote a band who can play live. It gives you so many opportunities. People, once people see them, and kind of, they kind of fall in love with the energy of the band on stage, and they're kind of sold into the whole idea just from a, a one live performance. And this is kind of invaluable, I think. Um, and last night's Cargo, or Sunday night's Cargo, was, was, was a good gig. Good to hear them on that system, and we look forward to the August gig as well. Yeah. What do you think the record's going to do? I, it's been hard to imagine. Um, I'm getting a better idea hearing some of the different elements that Moo's throwing into the mix now. Um, some of the more electronic elements that they can maybe help shorten the tracks. Um, I was chatting to Nicole about the length of the tracks and the length of potential album tracks and it was kind of you give your idea, your impression of what an album could be or should be like and then you think of Fat Freddy's and kind of scratch your head and wonder what they're going to do. So I'm sure Moo's got some ideas and some tricks up his sleeve. So yeah, well, we'll have to wait and see, I think.
Here we are, we're with Mr. Johnson. That's right. And we're in Tooting. When this uh, guy fell a flash, you know, other, yeah. otherwise known as Warren, he drops in and says that reggae is big in New Zealand. Is yeah. this a surprise? Yes. I still come back to Tooting. I thought it's the roots of my reggae. Tooting feels like a little part of Jamaica <laughs> yes. in England. Yes, yes, it is. A little part of Jamaica. Yeah. What do you love about Tooting then? I get, I get used to the people. And because I'm here so long, the kids that was going to school, they become my prime customer. And their children now are buying, still buying records from me. And the grandchildren are buying records from me, so they all know me. I'm not a stranger to anybody. What does everyone in Tooting call you? Oh, they call me Johnny. Johnny? Yes. If we see you in the street. Johnny. <laughs> Thank you. 